Hi, this is Raymond Rifa, and this is my Instagram story. First photo is me being presented with my test cap in New Zealand. I think this was five years ago. It was always a dream to play test cricket for Westernese, and I got the opportunity back then. So I really enjoyed that moment. Growing up, my dream was to play for West Indies and to finally get there playing international cricket, you know, was really a, a dream come true. Getting my cap from Jason Holder, someone I knew probably from the time I was probably eight or nine years old, to get my test cap from him, who has become the number one all rounder in the world in test cricket, something that I, asp I aspire to become. I think it was really, you know, a, a, a pleasure to receive it from him. Going into that game, there were some nerves, uh, obviously, you know, being in my first game. But then after, you know, just getting on the field and stuff, I just really enjoyed it and enjoyed every moment of it. It was a bittersweet feeling for me because obviously, you know, getting to, to play a test cricket was something I always wanted to do, but losing that game obviously wasn't the best start. The second photo is the day uh, my son was born. Um, this was in September of 2016. It was a really special moment for me, obviously becoming a dad and you know all the responsibilities and stuff that comes along with it. I thought this day really changed my life. It made me a lot more responsible, you know, and there's always that moment or feeling inside to even push more in cricket um, because you know I, I want to be there for my son and be able to bat him in whatever he wants to do. And the biggest change of me becoming a dad, uh, probably having to wake up early consistently. You know, being a dad is actually quite fun. You know, the children could, you know, surprise you at times with how fast they're growing and things they say do. So it's just, every time I see him, um, it's just, what's next? <laughs> the third photo is a photo of my wife, my son and I. Family is really important for me. Um, you know, my family actually keeps me pretty grounded through ups and downs. Um, my family is always there for me, so I really appreciate them. Can't say how much I really appreciate them. The fourth photo is a picture of the same wedding day. These are some of my childhood friends, some of my family as well. There are five of us in the photo. Next to me is my cousin Leslie. And we grew up together, basically doing a lot together. Even up to this day, you know, we're still very close. I think he's probably the closest to me um, as a family member. To his left is my friend from school days, Shamari Nurse, who we're still uh, very close today as well. He was actually my best friend in school. Next to him is Ronaldo, who went to primary school uh, with me. Still very close up to today. Uh, very funny guy. He always does something, you know, just to lighten up the mood and just make you laugh. Next to him is Jason, who went to secondary school uh, with me as well. Or sorry, I went to secondary school with him because he's older than me. He's always there, you know, right throughout, through thick and thing solid person. The next one is not actually a photo, it's actually a reel. It's me scoring 100 against England uh, in the President's 11 game. Playing at Coolidge is always good. I actually enjoy playing at Coolidge a lot. I think I have a pretty good average at Coolidge. Um, so I always enjoy going to Coolidge to play. It was such a special moment for me because I just started batting in the top order in first class cricket. So Going to get 100 in just my third game doing it was pretty special for me and really gave me the confidence that, you know, I can really do it. The next photo is a picture of me and Kyle Mears. We talked back then, you know, we were really with the dressing and stuff, but now looking bad at it. Um, I don't think we were too sharp then. But, you know, to be there at that time in, in the CPL, the very first edition, I think we were emerging players and just young, looking for opportunities, you know, to do what we love. And to be here with him today, you know, is a very special feeling as well. I think me and Kyle first met probably on the 15 trails. He was going to Alexandria, was going to LSD. You know, since then we were pretty close. 
you know, always pushing one another, always challenging one another, friendly battles, you know, and just doing what young boys do. <laughs> the next photo is a photo of my teammates and I after winning the 2014 um, CPL. That was the first CPL um, that I was involved in and uh, that I won. So you know that was a, a pretty special feeling. In the photo is Shane Dorich, Dwayne Smith, Ashley Nurse, Jason Hoda, and Kyle Mears. There's also Andy Payne as well, who's, um, who's very close to a lot of us, especially in supporting us in, in the journeys along the way and you know, helping us in whatever little way you could. It was very special, um, you know, just winning that first CPL and then getting to go and play um, at the time in the Champions League in India, you know. I thought that was very special and very instrumental in, in part of my development as well. The next photo is a photo of my cousin Leslie and Floyd, um, you know, coming from rich cricketing history in Barbados. You know, to be around the first class circuit at the same time as them, Floyd was obviously coaching at that point. Leslie was just starting his umpiring career as well. It was a very special moment for my family. You know, the uh, amount of cricketers or people involved in cricket still. Obviously my dad, uncles, my cousin Floyd played uh, for West Indies. And then I have a little cousin in, in England who's playing for Surrey at the moment. And I also have a little brother going to school at St. Bees and doing pretty well. I think he's in the Sussex Academy as well. So, you know, they're actually taking on the, the family name and playing that fly guy. The next one is a photo of my dad who passed away. We were pretty close. Um, and then obviously, you know, he passed away. But cricketing wise, uh, he actually played some first class cricket as well for Barbados and for Hampshire. He's probably the reason, you know, that I probably chose cricket because growing up, all I saw was cricket at that time and, you know, he taught me and encouraged me, encouraged me to play the game. And, you know, he's really a true inspiration for me, even up to today, being that he's no longer here. Um, I continue to strive and wanting to do him proud. My dad was my hero, still is my hero. Did a lot for me, especially growing up and stuff, was always there for me. So he's passed away now. So, you know, I always have those memories uh, when we were younger and stuff. The next photo is a photo of me and my big brother. We might not be blood related, but, you know, we're very close. Uh, he's been there for me, you know, right throughout. Especially when my dad passed away and stuff, you know, he was there for me and being that father figure in my life and, you know, they can't thank him enough for that. Um, I think it was actually his birthday on this day, so, you know, we had some fun at, at our cricket club, our local cricket club. 